Race by race preview time for meeting number 14 of the season. We're racing at Happy Valley on Sunday afternoon for a 10 race card and just note an earlier start time of 12.45 for race number one. And let's have a look at what we've got coming up for the first of the day, which is class five over the 1,200 metres. And we've got August Moon who drops into class five. He is a winner in the grade. Devil and Gold is first up. He's won a recent uh, trial. Uh, we've got Starry Night, Theta Hedge, Happy Tango first up for 214 days. Precision Goal is also having his season seasonal debut run. Brilliant Pioneer improved last time out, was a better run from the new stable. Nordic combined six best friends, Tung Hei Hei, Bella Victory off a rating of 22, ran well last to start and brilliant eight for Dylan Moe, claiming a couple of pounds uh, there. Happy Tango, the, the leader here, Paul? Yeah, he seems to go forward. Theta Hedge is the other one that likes to go forward, and he's up to 1,200 from 1,000. So I think those two will probably uh, share the lead here with the six best friends not too far away. Precision goal, August Moon. Has led in the past, but hasn't in his last couple of starts. As you say, better run from, brilliant, uh, uh, from Bella Victory and also from Brilliant Pioneer last start. Well, speaking of the brilliant uh, pioneer, we can have a look at uh, his most recent uh, run at uh, Happy Valley, and this was his first run for his trainer, Ricky Yu. Starry Knight was in this race as uh, well, uh, Paul. Uh, what do we make of uh, this pair? I thought brilliant pioneer should improve again further. Yeah, I think he should as well, and I do like the way he finished off uh, strongly in this race. So this was his first uh, start, as you said, for Ricky Yu, and I think the uh, change of environment's done him well, and he had to veer off the rail and lost a bit of momentum at that stage as uh, in that race, and I thought Starry Knight didn't run too badly, and he's he is a winner in this race. Yep, Zach Purton riding there for uh, David Hayes. The next runner we have a look at is Bell of Victory, and uh, he's here with uh, six best friends and also Theta Hedge, but he's basically come from last here, uh, Paul. He hasn't been with Douglas White for too long, but uh, this was a, a much improved performance from him. I think he's found his mark, isn't he? He's down in the 20s rating-wise, but look, as you said, it's a lot better run from him, and he really hit the line strongly. So from a good draw, Barry number five, he's definitely the improver in the race I saw, and the, the best work was this the last 100 metres, wasn't it? He hit the line really strongly. Yeah, definitely closed well late so there. Back to the trials we go now. August Moon hasn't won for a long time. 561 days off ratings, 37 and 43. So he's dropping here, Paul, to a a suitable race. Nordic combined in this as well. How did you uh, see this trial on what was a, a slightly rain-affected track this morning? Yeah, anyway, I thought he was pushed out a little bit here. You can see him really asked to do something, uh, come down and uh, win the trial. I I'm just don't know if he's back to where he was. I mean, he had a, a, mess, a long break, this horse. Uh, and look, I'm happy just to watch him one more time with the big weight. He's got to carry 135. Nordic combined for uh, Chris so Alexi Bedell. Um, Alexi Bedell's had about 49 outs uh, leading into this, so a little bit of a lean trot there for the jockey, but uh, Paul, class five for not easy as we uh, know. Who have you uh, gone with? Going to go with a couple of horses, I think, uh, on the improve here. Uh, we saw them racing really well last time. Brilliant Pioneer and Bella Victory. So seven to beat 11. Now, Starry Knight's won off this um, rating before. He's capable, but he's drawn awkwardly in barrier 11. And if Happy Tango, we know he's a, he, he can be a hard horse to get past. He is a three-time winner, Happy Tango, and he's been placed six times for second and four for third. So consistency on that level. And he's won off a rating of 50. He's down to 36. So put him in there on a minor line. 7-11-3-5. Those are the selections for race number one, which is class five over the 1,200 metres. It's the first at Happy Valley, the day meeting, 12.45 race one. We go racing from the 2200 metres for race number two at Happy Valley. And this is for the class three gallopers. Just a small field here. And just note the rating band 80 through 55. Natural Storm absolutely loves course and distance. He's a three time winner. Packing Hurricane, but disappointing last time out after racing behind the speed. SD Torbin is at the cheek pieces being reapplied. Turin Mascot, no luck last time out, but is seven pounds better off with Majestic Victory. Eight pounds better off, I should say. Majestic Victory, a winner two starts ago. Young, brilliant to for the racing club, Andrea Adsini and uh, Dennis Ship, Super Hong Kong, and further down is Total Power. Both those two towards the bottom off ratings of 60. Uh, Paul, pace likely to be a somewhat muddling affair, one would think. Yeah, they normally are in these longer races, aren't they, 2200? Majestic victory, I think, can go forward with the apprentice on. Young Vic, brilliant, might just have to work. It's a bit of an awkward start at the 2200 metres as well, so he might have to work a little bit to get to the front. He might eventually get there, but uh, he might have to work. Packing Hurricane, Turin Mascot should get a nice run. Super Hong Kong, Natural Storm, Total Power, and Estee Torben, they all get back.
Yep, he's a horse that uh, does like to work to the lead there is uh, Young Billy. But a short run of the first turn, of course, on the C course. So looking at the first of the replays, only two to look at here. Well, uh, we've got uh, Majestic Victory, uh, Natural Storm, SJ Toy. But the one to keep an eye on here, Paul, is uh, Turin Mascot, who just got no luck here in the straight. Yeah, very unlucky, wasn't he? And uh, got held up at a vital time. Um, look, I think uh, he, he's going to run well. There's no question about that. I don't mind um, uh, Natural Storm as well. I mean, he's been third in a Group 3 uh, last season. He's a three-times course and distance winner. So we know the 2,200 metres is going to be right up his alley. This was 1,800. And as you say, Turin uh, Mascot was very unlucky as well. So both those two go in. Yeah, but of course, perfect teams come out of that race in midweek and one on the all-weather. So the format of that has uh, stacked up. The second of the replays here for this 2,200 metre race, uh, again, features many of the usual offenders in this sort of uh, grade and distance. Majestic Victory was the best of them. Young Brilliant led them up. Total Power, uh, SJ Torbjorn, and I thought Packing Hurricane was a little disappointing here, uh, Paul. Sometimes it can take him a, a few runs to sort of come on. Yeah, they can. So, And uh, it, I liked his runs at Chartin last season as well. So I don't know about Happy Valley for him. He's just had the one start here. Did, did finish placing, was placed. Look, total power on those yellow and green colours just in behind. He's another real star as well. He's a horse that's been placed over the course and distance. So uh, this looks like a good race for him. So he goes in. For that me. was, of course, behind ensued to there, who was able to uh, win and win well on debut. Selections here, Paul, for race two. Looks like it uh, could be a bit of a, a tricky affair, but um, there's many chances. Yeah, there are, I think, uh, over these 2,200-metre uh, races. So I've got to go to the toppy here, Natural Storm. He's, at least he's consistent. Three-time course and distance winner. Total power, another one that the course. Turin Mass got very unlucky at his last start and I'm sure he can turn the tables a majestic victory who he's better off at the weights and should get a clearer run. 1845. 115 for race number two of the afternoon. Maximum trip at to Happy Valley of 2200 metres for the class three gallopers. On to a race number three of the afternoon at Happy Valley for the day meeting. It's class five over 1,650 metres. And here's the lineup up for it. Cordyceps one, Barrier Manners are his uh, biggest hurdle to overcome. Cordyceps one, the blinkers in the hood are off. He's first up. Raven Bold, Zach Purton rides. United Endeavours, you've got Millennium Falcon, who's not won in a long time. Medica leaps up for his fifth run of the season. Viva Alara last start, winner over Yichong Warrior, who of course has come out and won since. Eagle Run, peak to peak. Shenzo 12 and Generous Friend have no form to speak of. Smart Beauty and uh, Hank's Choice actually led up in a, a recent barrier trial coming into this. Do you think they might be positive with him, Paul? It's possible, but Viva Allah, like we saw him lead over 1,000, 1,200, and he stepped up to the 1,650 and just, just uh, lasted. So I think he's the one that's going to go forward and lead once again. Uh, Smart Beauty went forward. Look, Eagle Run's another one that can go forward. He's drawn wide. Cordyceps 1, as you mentioned, is the big question marks, whether he jumps or not. <laughs> It's always a 50-50 proposition. Yes. Did actually jump for quite well mm. in his recent barrier trial, though, but uh, race day could be a different uh, kettle of fish totally for him. Uh, out of the replays, and uh, we've got uh, Medica Elite, Smart Beauty, uh, Eagle Run, Brave and Bold, who had a, a tough run in transit. It's a well-trodden path here with Medica Elite. Yeah, I'm going to go with him because we know he's fit. He's had four runs already this season, and I think he was the most raced horse last season as well. So we know that uh, he loves his racing. Uh, and as such, I, I think it's such an open race this that he can maybe uh, he can win. He was sort of in front there with about um, 50 to, or 100 to go, wasn't he, before he just faded out. So, uh, you know, I think he's a chance. Smart Beauty seems to be on the improve, and he's got a lightweight. If he stays sound, he must be just about most race horse again this season, you'd <laughs> yeah. think, uh, Medica Elite. Uh, next to the runners we wish to uh, highlight here, well, Viva La uh, took this race off the front and skipped away in the straight. Hang's Choice um, ran on OK. Millennium Falcon, look, he's won up and higher before. He's won two of his 32 starts, but he's just going nowhere at the moment. No, and I thought Hank's choice was really unlucky here, wasn't he? He couldn't get a run, and as you say, he's trialled quite well recently. So, look, he seems to be in good fettle at the moment, Hank's choice. He did put in a, a sort of a string of placings last season. He's down to a rating of 19 for a reason, but... Um, Look, I'm going to include him on a minor line because it's a wide open, this one. Yeah, it sure is. So let's have a look at the trials up at uh, Chung Fa now. Now, this is Cordyceps 1. 488 days since he's won off a rating of 41. I've got Barrier Man has written in my notes here, and uh, he's been fractious in the float as well when being transported uh, from Chung Fa. The way he's trialled here, if he jumps and behaves himself, I think he can totally win this. Yeah, I don't disagree with you at all. I mean, he's. 
Yeah, it's just what you get on the day with him. Yeah, my, my notes are similar to yours, but I've got written rogue uh, <laughs> next to him as well because he can be. But, look, it was a nice, quiet trial from him there. There's no question. Yep. Uh, if, he, if he jumps and behaves himself, I think he can certainly yeah. win this race, uh, Cordyceps uh, 1. But uh, it is Class 5, and strange things can happen. Yeah, especially on a day meeting. I'm going with the uh, Medic Elite. At least we know what we're going to get with him. He'll be fit and he'll, he'll run you a bit of a race. Cordy sits one, you just got to hold your breath at the start. And the two horses at the bottom of the weight, Smart Beauty and Hang's Choice, are both showing a little bit recently. Uh, so I wanted to include them with light weights. You know, they're, they're, they're sort of the horses that we're looking for their careers this uh, season, being getting down on the ratings. 5 1, 11, 12. Third race uh, kickstarts the treble on Sunday afternoon. The early treble at uh, Happy Valley on races three, four, and five. At the triple trio on uh, Sunday afternoon, Happy Valley gets underway with this fourth race over the minimum trip of 1,000 metres for the class four uh, gallopers. And at the top, Jumbo Legend is back here from uh, uh, throat surgery, so throat surgery rather, to uh, correct an airway abnormality for Casper Founds, Alfie Chan. Fortune Warrior pulled up with blood in the track here uh, after his uh, first up run of the season. Very disappointing at a short price. Savvy Delight, Sergeant Pepper. Carrying an extra 10 pounds this time round as Sergeant Pepper. Valiant Elegance, the equaliser is now with uh, Michael Chang. King Invincible, no luck last uh, time out. Zach Pert and Frankie Law. Patch of Watch is a newcomer. He came through the international sale. Through the third dam, he's got to Dubai Millennium in the pedigree. Further down, you've got Gallant Valor, who's now with Jamie Richards. Circuit 7, Mr Valiant and Bay Bay Choi. Now in the stable of Dennis Ship. Pace here, Paul. Uh, they'll certainly go quick, as we know, over the thousand at the valley. Yeah, Sergeant Pepper's drawn well, and he got a really nice trail last time. I think he'd be happy to let um, Circuit 7 go eventually, and Bebe Choi likes to go forward as well. Valiant Elegance used to lead on his air, but recently he likes taking a sit, as does King Invincible. He should get a nice run. Uh, Gallant Valor there, midfield, all the way back to the first start of Patch of Watch, who's been slow away in both his trials. Yes, he has been slow away in both of his trials. So Patch of Watch, but our man Nick Child was down at the track on Friday morning to catch up with the trainer of the Patch of Watch. That is Jimmy Ting. Jimmy, Patch of Watch is a runner for you on Sunday at Happy Valley. Interesting newcomer. Um, you've given him two trials at Happy Valley. Uh, how pleased were you with, uh, with the most recent trial? Um, that's two trials. is not bad, but only the, he's always missed the start. And that's why I, I teach him on the 1800. At uh, that time, his jumper is good. Hope that, uh, that when you race, his jumper is good. Is, are we just putting that down to sort of the inexperience, the greenness? I, I guess with time, he'll, he'll learn. But I suppose any horse, first time out, um, might always be that bit slow away, mightn't they? Yeah, um, he's still learning. So that's why um, uh, we don't know uh, when he races, his jumper is good or not. Uh, but I hope that he, uh, when, if he jump good, I think he went very close this time. And just tell me, Jimmy, like the two trials at Happy Valley, I guess that's just the way maybe the schedule has been. And, but was it always the plan to, to maybe run here, or is, that, is it just the way that the, the races have planned for, for, for this horse? Um, because uh, at that time, they, they only got a Happy Valley uh, trial uh, on, the, on the grass. Okay. There's uh, no, no grass trial on uh, Shatin. That's why I uh, take him to go there. And um, after two trials, I think uh, he can handle the Happy Valley. So that's why the first time to run him in the Happy Valley. Yeah, he's very interesting. Um, he came through the um, the international sale. He was he was 2.6 million. Um, what was your impression of him at the sale? You, you clearly liked him as a type, did you, at the sale? Yeah, um, yeah. yeah he's uh, the big strong horse, and uh, he got a good heart when he um, when he at the uh, in the sale. You see them, he he's got a good heart, so that's why uh, we bought it. Yes, he was 2.6 million through the international sale here in Hong Kong. It was a patch of watch. Moving on to some of the race brigade here in this fourth race of Sunday's card. Sergeant Pepper, Savvy Delight, um, Circuit 7. The most unlucky horse here, Paul King Invincible, who got uh, chopped up in the, the straight. But Sergeant Pepper's got an extra 10 pounds to carry here. He, he does, but he gets a really good run, I think, uh, just in behind uh, the pace there from um, barrier number two. But you're right. Uh, look, I think King Invincible was very unlucky in this. Didn't get a run all the way down the straight. He, he, look, he had throat surgery in the off-season, and I think it's really worked for this horse. So he's the one I'm going to take out of it.
Yeah, very unlucky there. He got uh, cleaned up in the, the straight, but uh, still picked himself up and ran on through the line quite OK at uh, the end. Up to the trials here at uh, Chung Fa, and uh, this here is uh, Fortune Warrior. Now, he was really disappointing last time out to uh, Fortune uh, Warrior. Obviously had an issue there, Rapport, but he had trialled well before his uh, seasonal debut, and um, he was back like he was just about unbeatable. He was, wasn't he? Look, the, the thing that worries me, coming to Happy Valley under race conditions for the first time from a wide draw. He's mm -hmm. got barrier number 10. There's a lot of pace underneath him as well. The trial was good enough, but look, I, they, 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 those were the things that worried me, so I did live from that. Yeah. yeah, deemed unacceptable, the abnormal yeah. breathing noise, blood in the track here, and then failed a veterinary examination with a lame right four after a barrier trial. So there's been a bit going on with uh, Fortune Warrior. Who are we with here? Going to go with the uh, the seven on top here, which is uh, King Invincible. Uh, unlucky at his last start, I think he can win. Sergeant Pepper's got to carry that extra weight, but I still think uh, he can get that perfect run just in behind. And we have seen him carry weight in the past. Mr Valiant, fresh up, he's, he's been trialling OK recently. And Gallant Valor as well, he's won a recent trial and he's changed stables and uh, he's going really well. And his best run in Hong Kong to date was his debut run. So maybe he's a horse to catch fresh. 7 4 11, 9. That is race number four of the afternoon at Happy Valley. Triple Trio gets underway at a quarter past two. Race five, it will open the six up at Happy Valley, and here's the lineup for the contest, which is class four, 1650 metres. And Chateau having his first go beyond at 1200 metres for John Sires, Alexi Bedell. Red hair, King Packing Succeeder is first up off some handy trials. The tongue tie comes off. Concerto with Golden Ball coming to Happy Valley for the first time. Ninja Derby, Righteous Doctrine on the turf. He's trying course and distance for the first time as Righteous Doctrine. Durham Star, management folks, is first up here, 1650 for the season. Horse of Good luck, led but faded to out of it last at time. That little fairy and improver and to drag and start towards the bottom off a rating of 42, drawn wide. He's the likely leader here, Paul. Wanted to go just half a strike quick last time out, I thought. Yeah, he did, didn't he? And he might do it the same from that wide draw by the time it gets across. Horse of good luck. Now, he led at his last start and has, has led in a recent trial as well, so I think he'll go forward. Red Hair King should get the nice run just in behind. Concerto's led in the past, but I think he'll take the sit there. Golden Bull will be a little bit closer from a better draw. Uh, coming here to Happy Valley, Durham Star midfield, Ninja Derby's up and trip, Chateau's both up and trip, so both those horses uh, up to 1650. Little Fairy gets back, runs on. Golden Bull is the first replay we want to have a look at here, and this is him at Chateau. He's never been to a Happy Valley on race day, has Golden Bull, and as we wind in the vision here, Paul, he's sort of coming a little wider on the, the track, and I thought he, he stayed on well enough. He, he loomed up, but it's not the first time he's done this. Yeah, look, he's been declared a roarer in the past as well, so I just wonder if there's something uh, internally that's not quite there at the end there for Golden Bull. Uh, look, as you say, he looked like he was just going to go on and win. I mean, it was a bunch finish, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to stack up. So, look, I, I left him out in the end. Yeah, it was a recent trial winner up at Chung Fa, so we'll see what he can do coming to Happy Valley for the first time. He's never trialled at the city circuit either. Next replay, and this is a Little Fairy with Durham Star. What about Durham Star, Paul? It's been a while since he's won off a rating of 52. He's off 51 now. Yeah, he is. Look, he did win fresh as well, so um, that's, a, that's a nice time to catch him. Uh, look, he still ran well here, and he'll run, he'll, he'll run well once again. He's quite an honest horse. I like the way Little Ferry was finishing off down the outside as well, and I think he's a bit of an improver. He just got on heels there at the end. So uh, with uh, both these two will go in. He was definitely a bit of showing there from Little Fairy last time out at uh, Happy Valley. Oh, we go to a Dragon Star and to Red Hair King now. And to Dragon Star, once he got to the front, um, was a, a little keen. Uh, Red Hair King wasn't too far off them here, but uh, weakened out of it. I feel if they try and rev Dragon Star to go to the front, he's going to probably want to try and take off. Yeah, they, I, I agree. And look, I, I just thought they when they came out into the middle of the track here, Red Hair King, uh, they'll try and stick to the inside, I think, with him from barrier number six. So, uh, look, I've got him in on a very minor line because I think there is something there of the source, and he did come again at the end of this race. Yeah, certainly did. Uh, so uh, that's those two gallopers uh, there. Now, uh, recent trial up at Chung Fa of uh, management uh, folks. Um, this here with uh, his stable mate, I think, actually run him down, uh, Palace Powell, who uh, has run OK since this uh, trial. First up, 1650, David Hall, Brendan of Dallas, maybe needs a bit further. Yeah, he hasn't really got the really good um, fresh record in the past. So, um, yeah, I, I think this is probably a stepping stone to something else with him because we did see him over a lot longer in the end, didn't we? Didn't, he won over 2,200. 18 and 22, 18, yeah. yeah.
So he's had a couple of victories over a little bit further, so maybe wait till he gets up and trip. And some track work here now, Paul, of uh, Packing Succeeder, who uh, you don't mind uh, in this uh, lineup here, Packing Succeeder. Thought his trial up at Chungfa was quite okay. Yeah, I, I quite like that trial. He's one off a 53 rating. He's slightly higher at uh, 56 as well, but he, he was placed fresh up uh, on his only campaign as well. So. Look, I think he's a horse that's going to get a nice run. So, okay, yeah, change okay. table, of course, with mm. the Benno Jung and Lyle Hewitson to uh, take the ride. Are you siding with him? Yeah, I'm going to side with him. Uh, you know, with the with the uh, new stable, I think he can uh, he can win uh, packing succeeder. Little Ferrier made him a long shot last time, and he ran really well, I thought, running fifth. So I wanted to stick with him. Uh, Durham Star in there for third, and Red Hair King should get the perfect run. We'll see if he can improve on that last effort. Three, eleven, eight, and two. Looks like there are plenty of chances in race number five to open Sunday afternoon, six up. And the sprinters are in action here over the 1200 metres for race number six of the afternoon. It's class four and at the top of the lineup, Zach Purton rides for David Hayes, Tomodachi Kokoro, who won 364 days ago, but over 875 metres in Cairns. You know, Flash, John Size and uh, Brenton of Della. He was uh, back of midfield, ran on a bit last uh, time out. Party Warrior drawn awkwardly again. Golden Link ran well last uh, time out. Compassion Super. Further down, you got See You Again for uh, Danny Schumann, Luke Ferraris. Newcomer is Flashpoint. He was a $40,000 uh, yearling out of New Zealand who were trialled over there. Jamie Richards and Antoine Hamlin. Lean Master, Lucky Planet is trialled okay with the blinkers on. Diamond Flare, Flaming Eagle. And uh, down is Multi Darling who gave ground down the straight last time out at Chartres. Uh, the Cairns flyer to lead here, Paul Tomodachi Kokoro. Yeah, I think he'll do it by uh, default, really, because he's no other sort of leader in the race. And we know he has got that pace, as you mentioned. He won over 800 um, before coming here. Diamond Flair likes to go forward. Golden Link has been putting himself into the race. I see you again in Compassion Super. They're the ones that will come over from the wide draws. Uh, Janu Flash, a party warrior will, will get back. But I think there'll be a decent pace in this race. Yes, especially with uh, Tomodachi Kokoro in the lineup. But Jino Flash is uh, the first runner we highlight uh, here for this race. Uh, with the Party Warrior, uh, I think Jino Flash has certainly got uh, claims in this, Paul. Uh, I'm keen to stick with Party Warrior again. I thought he did his best work late. He found some trouble in the straight. He did. Look, I agree. I, 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 I like both these two horses. Jino Flash has run second off this rating before, so he's more than capable. When you're right with Party Warrior now, he's actually won off a lot higher at 66 before. And once he did get into the clear, you can see him making a lot, lot of ground there late. So... Uh, it wasn't a bad run from him. And look, he's, he's getting close to a winning mark, I think. Yep, he certainly is. Just drawn awkwardly once again, but should get the pace to suit. Now, Golden Link, we know he's got that uh, characteristic uh, sort of high head carriage. Had a lovely run here behind Denfield to Flaming Eagle and Compassion uh, Super. How about uh, these three runners? Going to put in um, Golden Link, actually. He's a horse I haven't really had too much time for in the past because of that um, high head carriage, but... It seems to work for him, you know. He still races uh, pretty well. He's a three-time winner. He's had seven seconds. Uh, so he's a horse that does try. He just is like one a golfer with a bad swing that can still hit the ball. Um, you know, he, he, he can still hit the line strongly enough. So, look, he, he goes in for me. Yep, nice run there from him. Uh, one more replay to uh, highlight. It's the trial of uh, Lucky Planet. Now, this was at Sharton down the straight a, a couple of weeks ago with the blinkers on for Douglas White to and to Keegan DeMello coming to Happy Valley for the first time without a barrier trial here. Yeah, that was a little worry for me. Um, look, I thought he had his chance in his last couple of starts has uh, Lucky Planet. The blinkers may help him. They, they seem to troll nicely with him. He's drawn well in barrier too. So there are some positives there. He didn't quite make it into my numbers, but there are de there are definitely positives. And if he won, you wouldn't be surprised with those with those little additions. They obviously would have worked. Yeah, you can see he moved quite well over the, the final stages there without too much pressure put on him over the final stages. So, Ryder, who are we signing with here, Paul? Going to go with uh, Janu Flash uh, in this race. I think he's due for a win. Uh, has won off, uh, run second off this rating before. Party Warrior, now he's won off the 66 rating. He's down to 58. Uh, Golden Link, another really well-rated horse. His win, last one was 69. He's down to 57. And we'll put the leader in, Tomodachi Kokoro, see how long he can stay in front for. Two, three, four, one. So Paul with uh, those numbers there on the screen. But to Jano Flash, his uh, top uh, selection for race number six of the Sunday card. Race 7 is the trophy event at Happy Valley for a Sunday. The Kwong Tong Handicap Cup. It is over the 
1,000 metres for Class 2 gallopers, and at the top is Kirpany. Of course, won two starts ago and then was third behind Stoltz down the straight in a Group 3 company. Majestic Star is first up for the season. Ping Hai Galaxy has had three barrier trials, including two wins coming into this. Wiz Kid ran fourth last time out in the race behind Sir Stoltz. And then we've got We Are Hero coming to Happy Valley for the first time. Nervous Witness is back. He's not won for 567 days. Carroll Street has the blinkers off. The shadow roll being reapplied. Seasons Wit first up with a lightweight. Zach may be putting one up there with the Seasons Wit. And Reward Smile is trying 1,000 metres for the very first time. He'll lead here a poor nervous witness, but uh, he's been very soft late in his races. He has, and look, he might have to work a little bit to cross Wizkid as well, because we know Wizkid likes, has got good uh, early pace. Uh, Kirpany will come forward from his wide draw as well. Uh, Pinghai Galaxy is another one, he won't be too far away. Seasons Witch will get a nice run, reward small, majestic star. We Are Hero gets back, and Carroll Street always gets back as well. Well, there's not too many opportunities around for a horse like Kirpany. Of course, he's run very well down the straight at Sharton, of course, in Group 3 company as well. And we can hear from his trainer, Casper Founds, who spoke to Winnick on Friday morning. Casper Kirpany lines up uh, this Sunday at Happy Valley. Cracking race, the seventh. Um, plenty of speed in it. Your horse possesses a whole stack of it. But he's done a great job so far this season. He has, you know. He's come back, uh, had a, quite a few problems for us. In the course of last season and uh, yeah he's come back a nice fresh horse and performed well both starts um, he's got some good form at the valley obviously uh, he's drawn the widest gate but we'll just slide forward and see where he ends up you know there's no pressure to attack for the lead but we'll probably just drop him in just behind the speed and, and see if he can be strong late that run in the, in the national day cup last time i mean he's certainly run up to his mark there i mean he's now into triple figures but he's he's honoring that mark isn't he yeah i think so you know uh, i'd like it to have been 1200 at the valley i'd be a lot more confident you know whereas at a thousand you're just going to be it's constant pressure and you might just feel it a little bit but he presents in good form he's fresh and you know we're just happy to get another race into him how's he benefited from that time up in chung far casper he obviously went up there for a little bit of a break and uh, you're bringing him back now yeah, he's good. He looks well, and he's ready to have a run. Got Alfie Chan on board. Also read a, a nice article this week, um, obviously giving him the support, and obviously with the big weight, perhaps in need of the claim. But it'd be a good spin for Alfie as well. Yeah, of course. Look, Alfie's you know he's worked for me for a while, and you know it's hard to get rides for him. But uh, we're trying to give him as much support as we can before Ellis uh, gets his way up in in, in uh, Happy Valley. Hopefully in the next few weeks. But, uh, yeah, so he's a good kid, comes, does his work in the morning, so it's nice to just try and reward him with some half-decent rides where he can earn some money for his family and hopefully get some wins on the board. Uh, Lee's been quite nice, actually. Just um, a quick line on Ellis uh, Wong. Obviously, perfect team as a winner for him on, on Wednesday. I thought it was a really, really sort of intelligent ride from the young man. Yeah, it was. Like, you know, obviously, it was, it was a little bit tight on the inside there, yeah. uh, going through those gaps, which uh, we certainly uh, had a chat with him about that just for the future to make sure he's careful and rides well within the, the, the rules of racing but he's, he's a good kid you know he's got a good head on him he just needs a bit of time to really mature into it and uh look the future's there for him so we'll just bring him along and uh give him the best opportunities we can i think it's all about probably next season but he'll hit his straps uh probably from from sort of december onwards i would say Nice win of midweek on the dirt for Casper Founds. He's got Kirby lining up in the main event on Sunday. A few more of the key runners here to have a look at Paul um, Carroll Street. Reward Smile just taking in this angle here because into the first turn he got quite keen. So maybe maybe a thousand metres just might suit him. Yeah, it could well do. And we know he's a, a very honest horse. So he did take a wide. Um, and it, look, it's a strong race. He's come up, up here, but uh, he's very consistent. Comes in with a lightweight. So there's positives there. I don't like Carroll Street at uh, Happy Valley. He, he just doesn't seem to perform there, does he? No, he's looking for a, a race at Sharton down the, the straight when one does uh, present. So Reward Smile was up on the, the pace mm -hmm. here with Exponential and you can see uh, behind to them packing uh, treadmills. So look, he wasn't too far from, from them at the end here. So 1,000 metres is interesting. I guess they've got to take the opportunity and try it. Uh, Paul, Alexi Bedell, yeah. uh, John Size, that the stable's really starting to uh, find some form, isn't it? Yeah, no, they definitely are. And look, he was he was there until the last sort of 100 metres as well. And uh, there was a bit of a bunch finish. He, look, he, he tries hard, Reward Small, and he has got that lights, uh, lightweight. He didn't quite make it in, but I did look at him a couple of times. Yeah, I think he's uh, certainly a player in uh, the race, is Reward Smile. Uh, moving on to Seasons Wit now, and this... Uh, is uh, him first up. He's had uh, three trials leading into this. He won two up at Chungfa. 
I think he's ready to win here first up. Yeah, so do I. He's won his last three. Uh, and he's he's such an honest and consistent horse from his six starts. We've had three wins, a couple of seconds, and a fourth. The fourth's the worst that he's ever done. Nice trial from him. Uh, wasn't asked to do too much at all and, and finished off really strongly. So, look, I, I agree. I think, And I think there is pace in this race, as we know, so he can just sit off the pace. Yeah, and I think it definitely says a lot that uh, Zach Purton willing to stick with him here despite the £119, which he probably will put a pound up over uh, in terms of that for Seasons uh, Wits. So uh, he's your idea of the, the winner, Paul? Yeah, he is. I've got uh, Seasons Wit on top. I think he can win. Uh, this uh, sprint, so he's clearly there. Now, Whisker didn't trial very well, but we've seen that so often with Tony Cruz runners, and then they come out and run really well. So I've, I've ignored that trial. Um, he's run second off 94. He's at this 95 rating. Kirby's won off this rating before, and it's got a little bit of a claim. So I think he'll, as um, Casper said, he'll just put himself into the race. And Nervous Witness, I think he'll be there for a long period of it, but sometimes can be a little bit soft at the end. 8416. Those are the selections for race number seven. It's the trophy event and it is underway at 10 minutes past four o'clock. Eighteen hundred metres for race number eight. It's the Shenzhen handicap, and it's for a class four gallopers. And here's the lineup for the first leg of the late treble, with Royal Pride at the top. Casper Founds and Luke Ferraris being consistent without winning has Royal Pride carrying the top weight. Amazing teens comes to Happy Valley for the first time. Flying Silver didn't trial overly well leading into this. Forever folks has got the cheek pieces off, and the blinkers being reapplied. Reach goal, Forever Glorious, Happy Angel, a last start winner. So too dazzling fellow, but is naught from ten in the grade. Vinci have having his seasonal debut, was a Class 5 winner last time out. A1, Circuit Elite and Classic Archie, a Class 5 winner, back up in grade here for Karis Teton and uh, Douglas White. Pace in this race, uh, Paul, forever glorious. He likes to go forward. Happy Angel, another one that uh, can sit uh, prominent as well. Yeah, and no, the Circuit Elite likes to go forward. He's drawn wide, so he might just have to work in the early stages. But it's quite a kind start, the 1800 metres. You've got the whole of the front straight to get into positions. Amazing Teens, we know he's another one that likes to go forward. A1 won't be far away. Royal Pride and Dazzling Fellow. Uh, Reach Gold generally gets back, and we know vincey has got no early speed. Yeah, well, speaking of uh, Reach Gold, he's been in very good form. I think he's building to win. We can hear from his Jockey, it's uh, Alexi Bedell riding this weekend for Ricky Yu. Alexi, Reach Goal is a ride for you this Sunday afternoon at, uh, at Happy Valley. Um, I guess it's fair to say he could go down in, in the unlucky category last time. Yeah, that was a good run, you know, and uh, he, he, he quickened late and the gap opened late, but it was certainly a very good run from him, and uh, the horse feels, in, feels good. He seems to be in good form, so he should run a better race. And I guess with a horse like him over this sort of trip as well, things probably don't happen as quickly as it does with, with sprinters. So when you, you do get stopped, it takes that little bit extra time just to really get going again. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a bit of a stereotype and uh, he can't really, really quicken uh, very fast and all of a sudden, you know. So when, when the gap opens, it needs to maintain, mm. keep it open. And, uh, but certainly the horse is in good form. I think his rating is good. And uh, I'm hoping he can um, he can deliver because I think he's a good chance. He's trialed, trialed well since, hasn't he? As well, he ran on quite nicely in his trial too. Yes, exactly. I mean, the horse feels good. He's uh, he, he he looks super fresh and happy. Uh, the trial was good enough, so uh, he should run a very good race. Gate three, C course. We're hoping for a little bit less bad luck this time around. He, he gets a nice draw. Yeah, definitely. Just simple, you know. I put him in the right spot and. He can finish very strong, so if it's smooth, he'll he'll be there. Alexi Bedell with the ride on reach goal for trainer Ricky Yu. Looking at a few of his main contenders here, Paul, that are up against him. Happy Angel has won. A1 made some ground. Circuit Elite dropped away. Happy Angel hadn't won here in Hong Kong up until uh, this race here. How often do we see these horses come out and they, they win their next start? Do you think he's in that category? No, I don't think he is. He's, he's had 26 goes, isn't he? And he got all the favours in the front here as well. Happy Angel, I don't think he will get that this time with Forever Glorious in the race. He, he dictated from the front and he managed to hang on. Can he do it again? I'm not so sure. Yeah, that was uh, a long time coming for uh, connections there of uh, Happy Angels. So we'll see what uh, happens with him this weekend. I've got Dazzling Fellow who won down in Class 5 uh, on the opening day of the season, Paul, with the opening race. He's trialled since this uh, run, but how do you feel about him in this grade? Look, uh, he hasn't performed in it in the past, but uh, in saying that he has had a couple of placings, 
I, I just thought he won this on his ear, didn't he? Um, this particular race, um, he's, you know, he's as you say, he's ten zip in this um, in this actual grade. His placings and win have been uh, in the, in uh, class five. The way he won this, you'd think he'd be able to perform at the bottom of class four. Yeah, you would think so. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take him on this week. I'm happy with not happy with that record that he's got in this grade. So uh, take him on. Um, looking at uh, one more classic Archie here, uh, Paul and. Uh, he was another horse that had sort of been threatening to win for a, a while and so then finally was able to do it courtesy a, a good ride from Hugh Bowman. What about him up in grade? Yeah, well, that's a, he's a similar one, isn't he? He's had seven goes in this grade and just had the one minor placing for a fourth. Uh, again, he, he got everything um, to go his way, this small field as well. Like, I, I, like he's Of the two, I'll put Dazzling Fellow in in front of him. OK, mm. so well, that is uh, classic Archie. Uh, Royal Pride, now he has been very consistent recently, this horse. Royal Pride, pra trained by Casper Found, Luke Ferraris. Uh, hasn't won in just about, or just over, a, or under a year I should say. And um, look, he made some ground towards the inside, having to come off heels here. Yeah, and this uh, this has been his second start in Class 4. This was his first start in Class 4 and I thought he ran really well. So I thought this isn't a, wasn't a bad form race with Lean Hero winning. Uh, Turin Warrior coming down the outside will be racing next Wednesday. So look, with this, uh, I think he's in the right grade. I mean, that 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 was his first run back in Class 4 and he, he ran well. Yeah, so certainly bits and pieces of winning form in this race, uh, Paul, but uh, who ultimately have you decided to go with? I'm going to go with Royal Pride. Uh, look, uh, he's run second off a rating of 60 in the past, so he's more than capable. And I just like the way he finished off in that race. A uh, reach goal, look, he's not far away from a win. His win was off 43. He, he's up to 52 because he's been placed. He's run second off 49 in the past. Uh, Dazzling Fellow up in grade and forever glorious from the front. Uh, he's a horse we know if, if you do leave him alone, um, then he can run well. And he did run third at his last start. We saw that earlier on behind Pakistan friend. 1586. Four last start winners in the eighth race, all down towards the bottom of the handicapper here in this race. Set to jump at 20 minutes to five. Race number nine, we've got the Class 3 sprinters in action here over the 1,200 metres. And here is the lineup at the top. We've got Atomic Force, Harry Bentley and Casper Founds. Not usual start, completely missed the start last time out. Is second up, has one second up. Excellent pair, sixth generation comes into the second up. Further down, you've got Brave Star, Golden Artie coming to a Happy Valley for the first time. Kairos Dragon ran well at his Hong Kong debut. The hood goes on, Brenton of Dulla. Smokey Bear with Michael Chang. Then you've got Jumbo Fortune Street Conqueror. Desert Star has gone okay on a recent barrier trial at Happy Valley. And Killandini ran well first up from the new stable, Cody Mo and Derek Lung. Pace in this one, uh, Paul, uh, Smokey Bear. Yeah, he looks the only leader. Um, he's drawn wide, so he's going to have to work to get across. But uh, the only other possibility, I thought, was uh, Brave Star, because he's led in the past as well. But he's, he sort of runs better if he sits off the pace. Killandini's drawn nicely. He's going to kick up and be uh, positive, I think. Golden Arty, excellent pairs. Uh, she'll get himself into a nice run. I thought Street Conqueror would be a little bit closer in the one than he was. And not usual star. He's a little bit of a query, because he did miss the start last time. Highlighting the first of the runners here, it's Atomic Force, and this is uh, going back to Happy Valley on the 27th of September. He's uh, a long way back in the pack here, Rip, all about uh, uh, fourth last and uh, charges home late for third. The nice run, I thought. I'm, I'm going to include him uh, on the back of this. They didn't change his rating from this, so he was uh, 80, and he still is 80. So uh, I thought it was a nice, uh, a nice run from him. I like the way he finished off uh, nicely. So keeping him in the grade um, on the back of that third. Yep, handicappers have been kind to him. Atomic Force, we've got sixth generation here. It uh, doesn't have a great second up record, uh, Paul. Is that a concern? Well, no, not really, because he hasn't been with this. He's only been with the new stable for a little while, hasn't he? Uh, you know, he, he sort of changed stables, and he's, his four wins have all come um, sort of uh, in the recently in his last uh, sort of seven or eight starts. So, look, I, I'm going to include him, um, not on a win line, but I'll include him on a place line. The reason for the win line. It's because of the draw once again. He's just going to get too far back, I thought. He's won a recent trial, of course, that horse. Uh, winning that race, Lightning Bolt, has been in good form. Down we go to a Street Conqueror now, and he got uh, a long, long way back in this race, Sir Paul Street Conqueror. Uh, charged home, not usual star, forget his uh, first up running. He missed the start, but he's gone well second up in the past. He has. Uh, look, this um, Street Conqueror uh, um, drew nine. Uh, uh, sorry, when uh, Street Conqueror, he did draw wide. 
and uh, he had to go all the way back. In this particular race, he's drawn nicely in barrier number six. He drew 11 here, and I, it was a slowly run race. I just like the way he picked up off that, uh, you know, in that, with that pace. So he was against the trend. Yep, so we're certainly making ground uh, there. One more to uh, highlight, and it is uh, Killen Dini, who was up on the pace uh, here in this race. Uh, Killen Dini back on the 11th of October. Cody Moe, Derek Long, barrier two this time around. It was a Pretty handy resuming run, I thought, from a, a horse. It is, however, naught from 18. Yeah, look, he had a second up record. He has been placed a couple of times. But he's off this rating of 61. I think he'd be a, a really good uh, look if he drops uh, drops down a grade, this horse. He comes in with a lightweight, though, so, um, you know, he, he could be dangerous off that lightweight. Does have internal issues. He's had a few uh, starts where he's had uh, blood on the track here post-race at Killendini. Uh, who are you going with here, Paul? Got to go with uh, Street Conqueror, just coming off that uh, really... Uh, slow pace last time and finishing off really strongly. Tom McForce, I like the fact they didn't uh, put him back up the ratings after running really well off um, a, a rating of 80. Sixth generation and excellent pairs. Another one that's uh, always consistent in excellent pairs and should get a nice run. And Angus Chung will take some weight off his back. 10 1 4 3. 10 1 4 and 3 are Paul's tips for race number 9. The curtain comes down on the meeting at Happy Valley at 10 minutes to 6 o'clock with the Zuhai Handicap. It is Class 3, 1650. And spearheading the lineup is Zone D for Brendan Abdullah. Completely missed the start last uh, time out. Brave Dreams comes to a Happy Valley for the first time. Devil a newcomer. He ran down the track in the New Zealand uh, Derby. Won on a rain affected track down in NZ. Splendid Living seemed to have every chance last start. A legend, brilliant way, coming to Happy Valley for his third start at the circuit. Lean Hero up in grade after a good win. Uh, Big Red has been consistent. Nicholson returns. He's at Happy Valley for his third to run. HK Dragon, June Planet looking for the hat trick. He's up in grade. And uh, Pegasus General for Andrea Anzini and Jimmy Ting out of alley number 10. Uh, splendid Living last time out couldn't lead, uh, Paul, but you think he can this time round? Look, I think he leads in Mike Crossan, but the thing is, uh, he's drawn nicely in barrier two, so I think that's going to help him uh, from barrier number two. Uh, he leads and uh, has drawn wide, so he'll come across, I think. Brilliant Way should get a nice enough run. Big Red can uh, posse up just in behind. Uh, Brave Dreams coming here for the first time. Lean Hero and Deviledom, uh, he's a first starter in Hong Kong. But uh, June Planet, we know he gets back. Nicholson returns. And Zone D gets back. Well, the Founds runners are absolutely flying around Happy Valley at the moment. And another one is June Planet. He's looking for his third win this season. His trainer, Casper Founds. Casper, June Planet is uh, a typical Founds improver this season. We've seen him to, to good effect in his, his last couple of races. Faces a stiffer task on Sunday, but he's done a little wrong. Yeah, look, these horses that are in good form, you know, he's strung a couple of wins together and now he's up in class, down in weight. There's no reason why he can't take that next step for us, and you know, especially when they take a like into the particular track and distance, uh, which he's done. So you know we'd be we'd be expecting a first three finish. Obviously, if you win, it's a massive bonus. And then you know you have a chance to to go on with it. Um, but yeah, he's in great form and uh, ready to have his next run. His form last season always suggested that he could certainly come out and, and really sort of take that next step and, and blossom I mean he's, he's clearly done that how much more do you hope or think that he's got to offer off you you're absolutely right look you're a very consistent honest horse um, you know and I'd say he'd be even suited when we step him up to 1800 so you know if we can improve as they get over further distance then you have more opportunities to to keep racking up some points with these horses just looking at his barrier as well, he's, he's got gate six for the third time in a row, not sure what to read into that, but yeah. uh, um, he's not too badly placed, I don't think, in this race. I don't think so, mate. Look, he's going to get back of midfield, and uh, I'm sure with the lightweight, he'll be, he'll be storming home. Three runners to a take out of this uh, next uh, replay after we've uh, just heard from Casper Founds uh, there about June Planet. is of course, Brilliant Way. Uh, HK Dragon, who made some late ground in Zone D, uh, made a mess of the start and missed it. He's been up uh, to uh, the trials again, his uh, Zone D. Uh, what about Brilliant Way coming into this? Um, he's gone OK in his couple of runs at Happy Valley so far. Yeah, he's, he's liked them, hasn't he? Look, he, he sort of uh, was worried out of the places here. He ended up finishing fourth in this. Uh, HK Dragon didn't get out till late, so it wasn't a bad run from him. And, yeah, it's sort of a forgive for his own deed because he muffed the start. Yep, he certainly did. So we're going to have a look at uh, Big Red now and uh, uh, Brave Dreams in uh, this. I don't think you mind Brave Dreams here, do you? No, uh, look, he's a horse I've always thought would be suited by Happy Valley. He's only had the one trial here, and that was a couple of years ago. Hasn't raced here in the past. 
Uh, he had a really tough run here, so it was a complete forgive. He was three wide all the way. Uh, so at that stage, hopefully we'll get a price about him, um, having coming here for the first time, get some weight off his back as well. Just a little bit awkward in barrier nine, but I thought he'd be able to slot in. Big Red, it, it, once he got into the clear, he finished off nicely here. Yeah? yeah, he's coming to Happy Valley for the first time without a barrier trial of Big Red, but mm. uh, still stayed on well there at uh, the end. Next runner here is uh, Lean Hero, and he's been in tip-top form around uh, Happy Valley uh, recently. He had a lovely run through on the inside uh, here. Uh, Paul and was able to uh, score with Hugh Bowman. It's Karis Teton and David Hayes here. Yeah, I, look, I'm going to include him as well because he's really honest over the 1650 year at Happy Valley. He's had six goes in it. He's won three of them. And uh, you can see he got the perfect run here. It was a great ride to, to get him up. But, uh, look, he's going nice at the moment. So, yeah, I want to include him as well. OK, so that is uh, Lean Hero, who won and won well. Uh, final runner here is Devildom, who uh, did win a race over in New Zealand with Lance O'Sullivan and Andrew Scott. Um, wasn't quite Mr Medici weather there at uh, Tauranga, but it wasn't far off, was it? No, you needed your gumboots for sure uh, with, with that day. And look, he, he did show a good turn of foot through the mud, but he's not going to get those conditions here for his Happy Valley Day boo. He's had the two trials. His last seen in the, in the New Zealand derby at 2,400 metres. So, look, I'm happy to watch him here on his Hong Kong debut. Yep, no doubt. It has been brought as a proposition for the four-year-old series, Devilton. Paul, who are we going with in the last? Going to go with a, a value runner here. Uh, hopefully he comes up at decent prices. Uh, Brave Dreams, he's on top. June Planet's honest. He's been delivering. He'll be right, right on the pace. So he's an honest horse as well. And Lean Hero loves the course and distance. 2.11, 4 and 7 in the last. Paul hoping for some each way about uh, Brave Dreams. In the final event of Sunday's uh, day card at uh, Happy Valley, a reminder, the first race is underway at 12.45.